Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we would like to present about OPEC. First of all, my name is Nurdi Inisha Binti Bogi. My name is Dayan Kuinta Mitawang Johari. My name is Nur Enmiti Yusuf. My name is Nur Fifi Farina Binti Muhammad Nizal. And my name is Afifi Nurdana Binti Ami. Uh, acknowledgement. We would like to express our special thanks of gratitude to our lecturer, Dr. Muhammad Rafis bin Saji, as our lecturer for IMD 212 subject, who gave us the opportunity to do this wonderful assignment on the topic of management of electronic records, which also helped us in doing a lot of research and we came to know about so many new things and we were really thankful to them. Secondly, we would like to thank our parents and friends who helped us a lot in finalizing this assignment within the limited time frame. We are overwhelmed in all humbleness and gratefulness to acknowledge our debt to all those who have helped us to put these ideas well above the level of simplicity and into something concrete. We are really thankful to them. Organ organizational chart for the OPEC. So for the director is uh, it's me and the bottom is head of library, Dayang Kuintan, assistant library administration, Afifi Nudiana, assistant library assistant service, uh, Nur Ain, and for the assistant library academic is Nur Fifi Farina. Overview of OPEC. Online Public Access Catalog, also known as OPEC, is an online database of all the resources and materials held by a particular library. It is a card catalog of sorts that is accessed via computer or other electronic device. Online Public Access Catalogs also potentially replace the old-fashioned card catalog as a means of helping library visitors locate the resources they seek. Users are able to search the database electronically, which can provide them with a quicker and more true means of locating necessary information, resources, books, literature, or other materials. The system, the system itself is designed to offer the assistance by use of various prompts, suggestions, help topics, facts, and even error messages when needed. Search results are displayed in a format that is easy to read and understand. Online catalogs first became an item in the 1960s, with, but the first notable and large-scale catalogs were not developed until the 1970s that specifically at Ohio State University in 1975 and Dallas Public Library in 1978. In the 1980s, more and more online catalogs were developed with the introduction of the first commercial systems. After that, however, interest won when and popularity of the online public access catalog all but disappeared during the 1990s. New systems and new technologies have put a recent spotlight back on online public access catalog development with online catalogs now being offered at most libraries across the country. System Interface OPEC To use an online public access catalog or OPEC, a library patron or college or a university student simply has to access the library link online and then click into the online public access catalog OPEC. In using the library OPEC, information seekers can access bi bi bibliographical records of a variety of available information resources independently. Online public access catalog is the most modern form of library catalog whereby bibliographic records of all the documents in a collection are stored in the computer memory disk which is, it is efficient and possesses all the advantages over other forms of catalog. It is important to occasionally access the, assess the effectiveness of the OPEC, especially from the user's point of view. This is necessary considering the uniqueness of each university library and the fact that periodic assessment will provide a rea realistic picture of OPEC performance. OPEC does provided users a means of searching and accessing information. Users can see the collections and issue status of each document of the library and can reserve and renew a document of their interest when needed. The development of online public access catalog has made users as well as library professionals to locate and access library resources easily without wastage of time and 
energy. Department of OPEC OPEC stands for Public Access Catalog Online, which is sometimes referred to as the Index, PSC, Web PSC, Catalog of the Library, and Internet Catalog. OPEC also allows users to search by author, topic, and publisher for the library collection, which connects to the work for these regions. OPEC also requires enrolled users to place online appointments in addition to demonstrating an existence of unique library content in multiple libraries where material is not accessible for checkout. Under the initiative of the Sarawak, Sarawak State Government, the aim, of, the aim is to allow information on library service to be exchanged via the Union Catalog concept. In order to make this content available to the public as part of the Angkasa Library Management Scheme. And this is the vision, mission, and objective of OPEC. Vision, to ensure library have the latest application and hardware that meets their current needs. Mission, to make it easier for users to find reading material. The objective of OPEC is Providing and maintaining the customer with information-based resources. Providing intelligent systems and infrastructure of the highest standard and to provide access to information resource. So for this slide, it is about function of OPEC. Uh, library catalog, uh, OPEC is a library uh, search method of finding books, subscribe ebooks, and also printed articles. There's two uh, typical methods. The first one is Boolean operators. It is database and web quests, including OPEC keywords, queries use Boolean logic. Uh, Boolean operators are the words AND or AND NOT when it is used in library databases. Type between the keywords, they will enable uh, each quest more accurate and save users time on searching. The second one is truncation. Truncation is utilized a term stem sign to obtain all the variants of the word. The truncation signs differ by database. Uh, the example is shown uh, in the slide. Okay. So this one is basic search. Uh, basic search is uh, it required author, uh, title, subject, keyword, call number, and ISN, ISSN and ISBN. Input in OPEC. Uh, so the first one is book details, which is barcode including info on title, author, publisher, rec, rec column. And second is borrow details by students, third, date and time borrow. Uh, last one is request info on a book borrowed to loan by a previous borrower. So the life cycle uh, diagram in OPEC is users interface, uh, technology, and management. So this is the example in process cycle in OPEC. Output in OPEC. OPEC is described as a computer-based and support library catalog by the 1983 LA Glossary of Library and Information Science. It is designed to be accessible through terminals so that library users can search and retrieve bibliographic records directly. So the third one is OPEC offers a forum for users to, share, to search for a find physically accessible uh, books and other materials in the library. So this is mean that OPEC is an online library collection bibliography that contains print and non-print such as a book, newspaper, magazines, journal, audio-visual, publication, thesis, and electronic resources. Conclusion, in an integrated library management system, OPEC is an interactive search module. Any record is searched directly from a node within the organization's database or remotely through national and international networks. Finally, thus, we see that a lot of cataloging work is reduced due to the availability of different OPECs. Um, this is our references. This is the appendices and that's all from us. Thank, Thank you! you.